Let's get started. Create a new composition. Press Ctrl N or go to Composition, click New. Rename it to Text. For this composition, I'm using 1000 by 500 pixels. Frame per second is 25 and duration of this composition is 30 seconds. Click OK. Grab a text tool, from the toolbar and add a text, as per your need. Align the text as per your need. Make this layer 3D. Again create a new composition and rename it to outside. Go to project window and drag text composition, to the timeline. Add an adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets and add a invert effect to this layer. Change its channel to alpha. Again go to effects and presets and add a fill effect to this layer. Change its color from red to white. Now add a fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 15. Change iterations to 1. And check repeat edge pixels box. Lastly add a levels effect to this layer. Change gamma to 0 0.95. Change channel to alpha. Change alpha input black to 144 and also change alpha gamma to 0 0.95. Now create a new composition and rename it to flames. Go to project window and drag text composition to the timeline. Go to effects and presets. And add a fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 107. Change iterations to 1. Now add levels effect to this layer. Change channel to alpha. Change input white to 148. And change alpha gamma to 1.89. Again create a new composition and rename it to fire. Change the size of this composition to 1280 by 720 pixels. Go to project window. Drag outside and flames composition to the timeline. Hide the visibilities. Right click on the timeline and add a new solid layer. Rename it to Mia. Add trap code mirror effect to this layer. Go to geometry. Change vertices X and Y to 400. Change size X to 300 and size Y to 150. Now go to Fractal. Move the timeline to 0 frames. Click Stopwatch next to Amplitude. Change its value to 17. Move the timeline to 20 frames. And change its value to 53. Again move the timeline to 0 frames and click stopwatch next to frequency. Change its value to 3500. Now move the timeline to 110 frames and changes its value to 2000. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to evolution. Right. Time multiply by 5. Again press Alt button and click stopwatch next to offset Y. Right. Minus, time multiply by 40. Change amplitude layer to outside.
Go to material and lighting. Change color to 20, 88 and 98. Move the timeline to 0 frames. And click stopwatch next to opacity. Change its value to 0. Now move the timeline to 20 frames and change its value to 100. Add a keyframe at 80 frames. Now move the timeline to 120 frames and change its value to 0. Go to texture. Change texture layer to flames. Change texture filter to linear. Go to shader. Change normal effect to 73. Turn off ambient occlusion. Go to visibility. Change far value to 5000, fog start to 4000 and fog end to 3000. Now add an adjustment layer. Rename it to shine. Add a trap code shine effect to this layer. Change source point to 635 and 336. Change ray length to 5.2. Change blend mode to add. Go to colorize. Change base onto red. Change midtones color to light orange color. Now add a camera layer to the timeline. Go to camera transform. Change point of interest to 640, 388 and 30. Move the timeline to 0 frames and click stopwatch next to position. Change its value to 596, 385 and minus 197. Now move the timeline to 100 frames. Change its value to 688, 389 and minus 197. Go to camera options. Change zoom to 996 pixels. And change focus distance to 996. Change aperture to 14.2. Go to project window and drag text composition to the timeline. Make this layer 3D. Go to effects and presets and add fill effect to this layer. Change its color from red to black. Go to transform. Change its scale to 30%. Now play this animation. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.